Hi, I hope you're well. So today, as part of my stationery collection series, we're continuing on and I'll be showing you my planner covers. So interchangeable covers, planner folio, stuff like that. So this one I have that's on my compact vertical at the minute is my favourite. <laughs> it is the Watercolour Leopard and I customise the colour. With Erin Condren, for those of you who don't know, they have A5 and 7x9 and also like 8x11 interchangeable covers. I don't own any of the 8x11 but they're there. And what you can do is you can take these off, you take them off and you snap them back in again and you can change them as many times as you want throughout the year. And this one is called Watercolour Leopard. And for the majority of them you can pick your colourway and for this one I picked taupe grey and olive green and then the black was just the standard that came on it and yeah it's one of my favourites absolutely love this one now I'm not going to remember the name of every co cover I own I will try when I'm editing if I don't remember to put the name in the corner but if, if it's an old one that's not there anymore and I just can't remember I'm sorry but I'll do my best so yeah that's watercolour leopard and then the one that came with my compact vertical that was on just before water watercolour leopard is this Harmony Neutral with a silver metallic in A5. In every Erin Condon cover, no matter what size, when you go into the inside, the front cover will have lines, the back cover will be blank, they have the Erin Condren asterisks down in the bottom right hand corner and then you have your back part too. And these you can buy uh, like wet or dry erase markers and write on and wipe them off. I never do but the option is there. And then the final A5 one I have because A5 is a new release from Erin Condren. You know, I have to build up my collection. But anyway this is the Cheetah. And I don't know if they do this pattern anymore but I got it in all shades of grey. Um, ages ago and it's cute just something different but I do prefer this watercolour leopard one definitely so those are my A5s and storage wise whenever I have an A5 either a planner or a notebook that I am finished with that I don't want to keep that doesn't like have memories or anything in it I will recycle the pages and use the rings to store these in the way I have done with this 7x9 one so let me show you the 7x9s. So at the minute I have ones that are season specific inside this old focused planner and um, that has a vegan leather slate blue cover and like I was saying a minute ago with the A5s I want to put them on one like this but I also want to eventually store all my Erin Condren interchangeable covers like this. It's just so much better and handier and easier to flip through. But in the meantime, until I get them, I am putting the majority of my 7 by 9 in this old planner binder. Erin Condren are phasing out their planner binders. But if you do have an old one and you no longer are using it as a planner, these are very handy because the planners actually clip into it. And if you look how many this is actually holding, um, it's definitely a good use for it. Although it does catch a little in the ring and it is very heavy and I want to divide them up um, into different types and different books like this, um, which is much more light, lightweight and easy to turn. So anyway, we'll start with the seasonal ones. So this first one is a autumn type one and I put it in with the seasonals even though technically you could use it any time you want. I wouldn't use that any other time than during the autumn and it is a plaid pattern. Um, don't remember the name but I got it in all greys and it was one you could get in any colour you want. And you see what I mean about how easy this is to turn and I can just flip through and take the covers in and out as and when I want to use them. So you get your lines, your blank and then that's the back cover. Sorry I'm really going to try not to have glare but I want you to be able to see it too. <laughs> that's the best I can do. So this is one of my favourites. It's navy and this is actually the colour where it comes in. You can't pick I don't think as far as I remember with this and it says the most it's the most wonderful time of the year which is obviously a Christmassy one and that's the inside and then another wintery Christmassy one this is mm, nope don't remember the name <laughs> but this is what it looks like and that's the inside and this is one that came this way and then this one I haven't actually got using yet. It's a newer one for Christmas. 
and it says joy to the world in gold and this is the way it comes with dark green and holly and then this one is a new year's one so it says the best time for new beginnings is now and it actually came in a seasonal surprise box so it's not one that you can get on the site and it has like a watercolor purpley white in the background and that's the back of it so this is my little book then for the seasonal ones. There's plenty more room in it. I only have a couple. If you didn't want to do the vegan leather cover as a cover for your notebook, I've actually seen, can't remember if it was on Instagram or in like an Erin Condren fans page on Facebook, but someone organized their um, planner covers like this. And then they bought a planner cover that they could, it's like the one that has the gray bars and they wrote EC planner covers. So it was like a cover specifically for their covers. <laughs> you could do that as well. Anyway, and to be honest, actually, I might do that and just keep the vegan leather one for my um, seasonal ones, but we'll see. So the main collection is in here for now. Look, and as you can see, it's just not the same as keeping them in the... Um, so this is that same colorway and pattern that I had in the A5, but in the seven by nine, and it's watercolor leopards. That's the back. And then here, I don't remember the name of it, but it's all in grays. This is a nice one for spring. And this is one of the first ones I ever bought, um, navies, and it's the hexagon pattern. And then this came as a special edition style. They didn't sell it on their website. They put it as the second planner cover when you bought a Flora Daily Duo. And it's the Flora flowers with the Flora blue background. And then this is an old school one. Back whenever I used to actually get my name on it. And I've learned my lesson with interchangeable covers and folios. You'll see in a minute when I talk about them. I don't get my name on it anymore because your taste change changes and you can maybe use one and there are ones that you'll keep for life that you'll never get sick of but in all honesty there are certain things that as your taste change your needs change you could pass on to somebody else to get use out of but no one will ever be able to take it because it says Rosera. This doesn't fall into that category now <laughs> um, because I absolutely love this cover and you can't get it anymore but I do have ones and planner folios that I don't need and can't pass on. So it's just a tip, it's up to yourself, but just be conscious when you get things personalized that it's yours for life then, unless you happen to know somebody else that has the same name as you. But anyway, this was a cactus one or cacti and it has rose gold accents, love it. And that's the inside. And then this is the same as the A5 version of all grey uh, cheetah print, but in the 7x9. And then this is mid-century circles with a purple background. Don't even think they make this one. Mid-century circles is a different design now. It has like an open, I don't know. Maybe I'm talking nonsense, but that's mid-century circles. And then this is the leopard pattern that isn't their watercolour leopard version. It's just the plain leopard and I got it in all greys. And then this, the very first planner I ever used from Erin Condren was Painted Petals. And I'll show you in a second. I actually have this cover on it um, because I have a few planners that have interchangeable covers on them permanently. Um, and I'm going to show you them in a second just to show you my food collection but this is the painted petals and it has got grey, a lighter grey and rose gold and then this one isn't a personalised one but it is watercolour meadows being a really good one for spring and this one is more outside my normal colours because it has a tiny bit of peach in it but it is lovely and then this is Flora Magnolia with Flora Purple in the background. And this is a bought one rather than a special one like the other one. This <laughs> is a crazy pattern. Um, and I don't think I've ever actually used this on a planner yet, but I intend to at some point. And it's so unique and I don't think they actually make it anymore. And I don't remember the name of it either, but I will write it up there, like I said, if I can find it. And that's the back. And then this is the Erin Condren like 
signature saying, she designed a life she loved. I don't even remember what the name of the colour is in the back of this, but... And then this is Kaleidoscope. So this was the first ever release that I was around for. So when I got into Erin Condren, I actually bought it after the launch of the whole Painted Petal thing. And I, you know, so I wasn't there for the hype and I wasn't um, someone that knew all about it at that point and was following along. But the next year they released Kaleidoscope and that was the first planner launch that I was around for and got excited about. Um, this is the Kaleidoscope Neutral. But as you can see, I wrote Ruth Sarah and I wish I hadn't, but anyway. And this one falls into the category of one I would give away but can't because it says Ruth Sarah on it. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, I just never use it and I think it's maybe a bit too bright for me. I mean it has pink in it and I don't know, I just, it was one of the first ones I ever bought but I'll always keep it and I'll try to maybe use it the odd time because I have it and it says my name on it so nothing to do about it. And that's the back. So let me show you the ones that are on books already and then that'll be my full interchangeable cover collection. So this is my 2022 January to June Daily Geo um, and I bought this cover that says 2022 January to June to store permanently on it when you're finished using with the planner and I just got that out because you're probably thinking that's the same cover. It's not actually. This is Flora Magnolia with Flora Purple in the background and this is Flora Gardenia with Flora Mauve in the background. Um, but yeah, they're both gorgeous. And then actually while I have this out, I'll sh if I can show you the three, because this is sitting here. This is the same Flora Gardenia, but it has Flora Blue in the background and it says 2021 slash 22 home projects. And this will stay permanently on this. You can see I was obsessed <laughs> with Flora when it came out, but yeah. So that magnolia purple one will get used anytime I fancy putting it on another planner. But you know, like I said, these ones will stay. And then this is the one I was talking about. That was my first ever planner. So 2019-2020 life planner. Um, it was a horizontal in the kaleidoscope. So it's my 2019-2020 life planner. And it is got painted petals on it permanently. So that grey and rose gold. And then this is my last interchangeable cover that I own and it is a customizable one. And it is actually one that I use as my little washi book sampler thingy so that I can have it as a point of reference. And that is my interchangeable covers. So let's move on to the folios. So these are planner folios that are made for a seven by nine planner. So what you do is you, oh, what's in that? I totally didn't know I had that in there and I don't use a planner binder. How random. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> that's besides the point. <laughs> yes, you put a planner in here. Where's my planner? So this is my planner, my seven by nine. You slot it in here. You can keep other stuff in the pockets in here. There's two pen loops. When you flip it over, you can close it up and it's for taking your planner out of the house. However, I never take a seven by nine planner out of the house ever. <laughs> so these just sort of sit there pointlessly. And I honestly would give them to a new home if I didn't personalize them when I got them. But sure, they'll maybe come in handy one day. We'll see, you never know. So I've got RSB and it's the two toned gray colors and this one has a rose gold zip. And then this one is kaleidoscope neutral and it says Ruth Sarah and it has a silver zip. Oops. And then this one says, oh, it actually says Ruth Brown um, and it's Starry Night in grey. Anyway, and then this one I have that I didn't personalise, but ironically, it's the one I use. I only bought it recently and it's the same thing, but it's for an A5. Um, and I put my compact vertical in this every week whenever I go into work. The, ver the compact vertical goes in here, I close it up and I put it in my work bag and it has a silver um, on the edge. But if I ever get to a point where maybe there's new patterns out and I get fed up with this one or whatever, I can give this one away. So learn from me. I mean, do what you want. You can personalize your stuff if you want, but I'm just saying, be warned.
Right, so this last lot is my collection of planner folios, but this time it is this style of planner folios that you get the petite planners for. And I used to use one of these as my work planner, but it ended up I didn't use it as my work planner anymore. Now I keep these four notebooks in it. But if I'm being honest, once these notebooks run out, I probably won't be using it anymore. I'll just use a normal notebook because I don't really have as much options in these anymore. Maybe in the future, if they release some new patterns, like all these aren't on the site anymore. These three I really love. But anyway, I'm keeping them because you never know. I go through phases with planners and I could decide that the planner folio, planner folio system is for me again at any point. But this one is the lavender and it has gold hardware. I'll show you an empty one better. So this one is charcoal. And it, so what it is, is four bands inside it. As you can see then, whenever you put the petite folios through, it the four bands hold your notebooks or your planners or whatever it is. Plain on the inside. And then you have another strap that goes around the outside that holds it together. And then this one, the hardware is silver. And this is a charcoal gray and you get an asterisk in the corner. So that's a charcoal gray. And I actually ended up with two charcoal grays and I really don't know how that happened, but there you are. Anyway, then I have this leopard one. So it has like a charcoal planner and then it has like a silvery leopard pattern. And again, with a strap for the inside and the silver hardware. So it's sort of like changing your handbag. And <laughs> whenever you, you have all the contents inside, you can, if you're using away, you can, after a month, instead of like having an interchangeable cover, you would change the outside cover on this. So this one, I totally regret putting this on. It's, it just gets in the way and it annoys me, but it's done with 3M, so I cannot get that off. And I totally regret putting this pen holder on too, but I can't get it off. So at some point, if they ever have these in seal, I might buy the navy one again that doesn't have this on it. But this is my navy one anyway, and it has gold hardware in it. See? And that is everything. I hope you enjoyed seeing my interchangeable cover and folio collection. But thank you so much for watching and take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.